my name is Rob, this lady is my wife Esther, and today we are doing our packing for Download Festival 2023. Uh, the first thing that you need when you go to festival, probably you already know this, is a tent. Ours is... there? There! Got this. It's a tent! We need to go put this up because this hasn't been used since 2019. Is that right? Because uh, last year at the festival you did not stay in this tent, you were in your friend's tent because they had a massive one. Uh, and I didn't go because I came down with Covid on the Wednesday of the festival so I couldn't go. Aww. I know, right? Uh, so then we need to go put this up because it might be awful and needs throwing away. So let's go find out! Right, let's put up a tent. Alright. So the tent is up and now we can go through all the rest of our camping stuff and the first thing, very important, as you can tell, this isn't very comfortable so we need some camping chairs. Right, so now we've each got a chair. The next important thing is a beer. Do you want a beer? Right. Good, I've run out of magic. So now we can go through the bags of camping stuff that we're taking. Uh, well, let's begin with the bag that's open. With miscellaneous things, uh, we've got torches. Oh god, they still work. Cool. Uh, lanterns, not torches. Got two of them. Uh, did you use them last year? Um, I don't know. No. I don't think we did. Oh well, they're good to have. Oh, so we've got a big pasta and sauce. American style mac and cheese bacon flavour. Fucking hell. That's mine. <laughs> You'll notice we didn't actually buy very much food in our shopping video, which you can watch up there, I think. Uh, what else we've got here? Got some lighters. That's it works. Got... Like a oh, barbecue yeah. fire lighters! The dog really wants to be in the video. Oh, cling film! Is it a full one? Uh, yeah, of course. Some cling film! So we use this when we go into the festival, you use cling film to wrap up all your stuff on the truck, which is in the garage, um, and therefore it doesn't all fall off and stuff. Uh, so do we need another cling film? I'll get one more. Okay. Uh -huh. So we've got two. Add that to your list then. So, uh, we've got some tissues. Yeah, definitely. Defo tissues. Uh, don't put it back in. What's this? There's a oh, uh, waterproof. Waders. Is that different from waterproofs? That's, that's what I just called. Waterproof trousers slash waders, apparently. Waterproofs are good. Even if you think it's going to be nice and sunny, pack things in case it does pour down with rain. Because you never know. Ooh, what's this? Oh, we got a first aid kit last time. We did. Did you ever use it? I think I might have done. Oh, anyway, um, first aid kit. If you want to be an adult, this is a good thing to have. Oh, toilet paper! I think I suggested this on my uh, things to remember. Toilet paper. Take it. Let's put that in my beer holder. That is it for this bag. So this can go over here. Let's take a water carrier so that you don't actually end up taking like eight litres of water in because it's really heavy. Take one of these, fill it up there. <laughs> right, let's open this other bag. I don't know what's in here. It's a bit of a mystery. Oh, I see a tin. Oh, a mac and cheese. <laughs> a tin of mac and cheese. This was like £1.90 in Home Bargains the other day. What else have we got? Uh, cutlery and utensils for cooking. I mean, if you're going to go for a food van every day, you don't need this. But we don't because we're not rich. But typically we'll have at least one meal a day. Not, not be dinner, but like one like lunch meal or something. Breakfast and or lunch we tend to cook. Yeah, at the campsite. And then Tin we'll food, have... burgers. Yeah. yeah. yeah uh, and if you're cooking, you need these things. Billy cans. Um, and if you're cooking food, you need to put it somewhere. Oh, God. Oh. A pointy thing for sticking people with. Plates and bowls and stuff, again for food, again it's filthy, again it's a festival, a little bit that's not going to kill you. Oh, got a full Monty, which is the other thing I really enjoy, it's like a... It's a dome of mushrooms. Yes. Baked beans, large sausages, potato chunks, mushrooms, mini bacon burgers, and a mini beef cutlet. Ooh. Whereas in reality it's something akin to meat is inside it. More toilet paper? 
Um, very important for us because we're old. Oh, it's falling. Is a kettle uh, because we like to have a cup of tea. Uh, is it peppermint tea we have in the morning? Really good for a hangover. Well, Earl Grey, mint, peppermint, just some sort of tea in the morning is really good for a hangover. It's a bit filthy because of what happens when you cook on a hexy stove. Put that there. Oh, speaking of cooking on a hexy stove, a hexy stove. Uh, you kind of open it out like that. You put. The billy can on top, put some Give. solid state fuel. Yeah, that's what we've got in that little ah, Which we've got there, and then you cook on it. Oh, here's a, here's two pieces of a beer bomb. <laughs> and the actual funnel of it. Um, I don't think we should take that this year. We've never used it. We would have used it last year. We... Taking my beer bomb. Yeah, because you're the dumps in this situation, aren't you? Um, <laughs> more toilet paper, cool. You can get that. Uh, mugs, again, if you're having tea. Oh, this was your one. It's got fish on it. Yeah, it's a big, big mug. Did we have mine? Did you not? Oh, we did. I think this was my one. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's probably a good thing we bought some uh, face wipes because here's the ones from last year that have been opened. And, uh, well, actually, that is still, still moist and stuff. Good, because all handling all this stuff is really making my hands filthy. So, um, yes, bed wipes again, very handy things. Go over there. Uh, and the final thing, I think, is some disposable barbecues. Some drugs. I don't know what download policy on drugs is. I think if it's prescription, it's fine, but like this is ibuprofen and paracetamol. Things people have on them, I'm sure it's fine. You can take it on a plane, I'm sure you can take it down. Shall I? Uh, this is a can opener. I don't know how that works. Does it come at yeah. oh, Ah, there we go. It, it goes like that, and then you go like that, and then you go like that, and it's a tin opener, and everyone knows what that is, and I don't need to keep talking about it. So, And a remote charger. These are very useful. People have electronics. They run out. Take one of these. But yes, very important things. And they're quite cheap online, aren't they? These days, yeah. So, but alternatively, if you don't manage to get one, you can put, there'd be loads of options on. But they have the lockers that have charge, that you can just stick your phone in and hmm. charge. And then they also have like the little centres where you can put your phone, just your phone, not like a locker, like yeah, a Yeah, like phone, a stool? A phone, yeah, a phone bit hmm. where you just leave your phone for a bit and come back. There is a zip, hold on. Yeah, What's a... in the thing? Oh, a poncho. Oh, and some Ziploc oh, bags, which was already on our list of things to take. Poncho, because it rains. Cool. And Ziploc bags to you put your phone in it if it rains, put toilet paper in it. Keep a spare pair of clothes in it. Yeah, you can probably, like a thin outfit. Like a top. Outfit, underwear, maybe they put in one of them just in case. Is so that everything from this bag? Oh, there's a, a glasses case with. Oh my god, is that my old glasses? Do I look exactly the same? Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, this is another tip. If you wear glasses, bring a spare pair, put them in a hard case because you're at a festival getting drunk and stuff, they might break. Uh, so that's that bag. This is a blanket. I think this is an important thing to bring. You can put it under your air ma um, airbed. Because of insulation and stuff, it means the airbed's going to go down slower overnight. Or you could use it as a pillow or as a blanket. I know it's a weird concept. <laughs> if we've got space in the car, I'm going to bring it because I think it's useful. Yeah. And um, the final thing is energy drinks. Uh, so this is the pack of Relentless that I bought last year and then never used because I didn't go and I had no need for energy drinks while sick with COVID. Um, in the year since, I've had one of them because I really needed it for a hangover. Right, let's look for an uh, airbed. Yeah, it's got a pump with it, that's always a bit. Right, put the pump there. And. An airbed! What are you not going to do with this airbed? Oh, you mean with my spiky shorts? So yeah, what are you Not got? lay directly on the airbed with the spiky shorts on. That's what happened to the, how many of our last? <laughs> is it two, is it? Airbed? Yeah, this is, this is number three. <laughs> Right, so yes, we've got an airbed. Whoopsie daisies. We still need to test it with the pump just to make sure it actually does blow up because it's been a year not in use. Show it over there. Uh, and the final thing that we need is a sleeping bag. Um, this is a massive one that fits the two of us. It's pretty good. I don't know what it's rated to. Uh, I do know that when we wake up in this, it's boiling yeah. and it's awful, but that's the same in any uh, sleeping bag at a festival. So but yes, uh, sleeping bag is very useful. Cool. Uh, 
Uh, so that is all the camping stuff that we are taking to the festival. And now I'm going to go through all of the clothes that I'm taking. Um, so let's go talk about that. So clothes, these are all the clothes that I am taking. I'm just going to go through them quickly just to let you know the kind of stuff that I'm taking. Maybe it will remind you of something that you need to take. So I've got socks and underwear for kind of like seven days, definitely more than the festival because you will need to be changing them more than once a day. Uh, I've got too many t-shirts. I always overpack. Don't bring as many as me, but I like wearing lots of different t-shirts. Uh, I've got one pair of jeans, one pair of shorts, which I am wearing, so you can't see them. Uh, what else we've got? We've got two pairs of shoes, one pair of bands, one pair of docks. That is, I'm gonna limit myself to that. Uh, over there is my hat. Uh, it's a Jurassic Park hat. It's the only one that fits my giant head. <laughs> and a pair of sunglasses, very important. If it's really sunny, I need to be able to see. And over in that section, you'll see lots of female clothes because I am part girl. That is probably the outfit I'm going to be wearing. Something like mini skirt, leather jacket, sexy boots and a handbag. I'm going to look something like this. And that is everything that I am going to be taking to Download Festival. Have I forgotten something? I probably have. Let me know in the comments to remind me. Thank you so much for watching this far. If you have, if you've enjoyed this video, please do click like and subscribe. It really helps me out. It means that you get to see more videos like this. Thanks so much for watching. My name is Rob and I will see you at Download Festival 2023.